Good afternoon. <laughs> How are you doing? Good and you? Oh. I'm just going to wait a few more minutes to see if anybody else comes in. Okay, yes, I, um, one of my friends also said, Tyra said she will be joining. She's just hoping that her network will allow her to join. Okay, okay. And then, uh, but either way, you know, this, I am recording these sessions, so um, we, I can make it available to the class as soon as it's uploaded. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Are you well? Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Considering yeah. this, the, the times, eh? <laughs> yes, unfortunately, we are going through tough times, challenging times, eh? Very challenging times. But I mean, um, as I read your message, uh, keep the humor there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's many people just sitting there and just sulking or can't go here, can't go there. Yeah. But you know what? It's a time of reflection also. Exactly. So um, appreciate what you've got. Exactly. Isn't it so? That's, I, I feel the same. I think, um, unfortunately, the situation has placed us in a in a position where we have no choice but to look at ourselves and yeah. look at um, our connection with others. Um, and many, you know, if you're, if you're staying with your family at the moment, you, you're also like in connection with your family. And <laughs> this, you know, some people will say, oh my goodness, I had a job for a reason so that I can get away <laughs> from my family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to. I used to feel like it when my children were smaller. Yeah. I used yeah. to like. I need to go to work. I need that. I need. I, I need the break. I need to get away. But um, now that they're bigger, they're actually quite fine. They're yeah. seventeen and fifteen. I'm yeah, actually quite fine with the two yeah, of them. Yeah. Fine, eh? <laughs> but you know, like, you say you say that. Um, I, I was thinking about the the mental well being of of people during this time. Because okay, yeah. one thing uh, is certain, you know, we physically affected by the, the virus and um, that has uh, health implications. But then, the, you know, another essential service that is available is mental health practitioners that are offering people just an opportunity to keep their sanity in place uh, because this type of crisis is... Um, it's putting a lot of people in a position that they haven't ever been uh, mm -mm. prepared for. And that's, you know, and, and I mean, it's, it's a lot of things like uh, a lot of people have been dependent on their, their physical um, job uh, spaces um, because that's their only means of income. So exactly. taking that away, it's going to, yes, there are, there are, direct implications of how can they then generate an income um, mm. but then also if you take somebody's income away and also just their their uh, occupation away uh, it takes a lot of meaning away from you you've now been stripped of your uh, an essential mm. purpose in your life mm. and i think this this is a and in fact this is a great example for sociology of education because now yes how do the communities keep each other alive and sane during these times? And mm -hmm. unfortunately, I've also seen a lot of people ignore the, um, the implications, the, 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 the call to isolation, and they're still carrying on as though nothing has happened. Um, mm -hmm. And then what that's going to do is it's going to affect the, the you know, it's going to create, and this sounds terrible, but... Uh, an actual sick society because the spread of the virus will, will perpetuate. Uh, well, definitely. Um, yes, me yeah. Mental, um, mental, uh, what can I say now? Um, like you said, keeping your sanity mm. and also just um, keeping sane. But yeah. uh, no, sane is a lack of a better word now. Um, the stress that you go of that yeah. you are um, experiencing right now because many people, like you said, also um, means of income. Yeah. So the worry is what's going to happen afterwards because we don't really know how long this is going to be. Yes, it's given a date, but three weeks is just, it's just a number because this yeah. is, a, well, at the looks of things, it's going to continue. Yeah. And if we don't go out there, there's no income. 
Yeah. So whatever we have in the house right now, that is it. Mm. You know, for not not just for myself, but for many other people as well. Yes. So it's also um, a stress. It's, it's also a, a worriness. It's a scary stress because, and mm. like you said, I, I mean, I have friends in China, and they've uh, they've been isolated for four months. Uh, they exactly. And yeah. there's no. <laughs> it's there's, long. It's long, eh? Um, so I think, you know, the, the president has given a, a, a short period of time for us to, that is much more chewable, mm. but the, the in actuality, it can easily carry on for much longer. Yes, definitely. Definitely. And especially cool. if, if people don't apply the self-isolation, uh, mm. social distancing, and they continue as usual. But mm. see, in terms of sociology, how do you implement a system of self-isolation and social distancing where communities need to be uh, interacting in order to have an economic standing, right? An economic, uh, uh, I'm trying to find a word, uh, healthy economic um, system, an organic economic system. And I, I think that's, it's good to use this example in terms of what we're talking about in sociology of education, because now what we're seeing in terms of a conflict perspective, there's a clear conflict taking place because now what, uh, what has been, and it's not necessarily incorrect. I would love to see how we can think this through, but uh, the, the, the army has been deployed to enforce the, the disaster management act. And that's to try mm. to keep people separated and isolated. But the army is, uh, they apply it on a very forceful um, uh, approach. And that is mm. to physically separate people, okay? They are, they, they, in fact, they, be, they are a symbol of physical separation. Um, if we think back to symbolic interactionism, which is uh, still one of my favorite theories. The army represent a symbol of barrier to, yes. some, to some people. To others, they could represent uh, um, the enforcement of, uh, of authority, um, mm. which oh, in a conflict yeah. perspective, in a conflict perspective, that becomes much more pertinent that they, they're not just a, a symbol of, of separation, but actually they represent um, conflict. The conflict can also go back to the apartheid era because it yeah. reminds you of what happened back then. Yes. Because if, whenever you see a Casper, it would remind you of what happened during 85, 87, mm. 70s, whatever now. And... Um, bringing that back in now i mean as you said certain people would be looking at at uh, at, at this and mm -hmm. thinking back of that would yeah. be it would uh, be a uh, symbolic representation yeah. of that yes uh mm -hmm. i you know what uh, if you please feel free to use the current context uh in your examples um you don't even like if it's it's even more um pertinent than this article that i've given because this is an old article from last year. Oh, if I've you, been trying to... Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. carry on. No, no, I've been reading that article over and over, but trying, yeah. to, um, draw, <laughs> trying to draw from it a social uh, reproduction... What's it? Yeah. The social reproduction theory. Yes. The conflict, I can, I can, I can, I can draw a little bit there, mm -hmm. but... Um, social not really. Not as much. Yeah. I'm, not really. I'm, or, um, yes, I am getting little bits, but the, 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 the article is mostly based on corruption. Mm. So, okay. well, I, I think before we get to social reproduction, I, let's use that, the, the, this article, and then I will help uh, talk through social reproduction using that article mm. a bit to see how we can apply it. Okay. But now, yes. Let's say, um, Oh, I see. I may I forgot to change something here. I said functionalist theory. That should be 